What's going on everyone? It's Nathan, also known as the Bad Assassin. Now if you may have noticed within the past few days, we are uploading content. Everybody in Deep Sheep has been uploading videos of what they've been doing within the past few days, and some important things that may have happened to them, or just some things that they're interested in they want to talk about. For example, Alex got a haircut. That's a pretty big deal for us, or especially to him. Meanwhile, Robbie is talking about wrestling. It's not really that much of a big deal. But for me, I am. I pretty much do nothing I, other than play video games, watch Twitch streams, and occasionally stream myself. However, I can't really do that right now, but I do plan on doing it later. But I really want to get into streaming. Since I can't right now, I've just been playing games, and one thing that I love to do when playing games is that I try to help people whenever possible. Even though I'm not that social of a person, I still try to go out there and help people that are in need. Especially new players in video games who always end up needing help in place because they're just clueless. They have no idea what to expect from the game. One of these games that is very tough for new players to get into is Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous is a game where it's just a open galaxy. You can do whatever you want. You can explore, you can bounty hunt, you can trade, you can mine, you can do whatever you want. Pirating, smuggling, whatever. In a game like this, it can be overwhelming for new players and it can be pretty tough for them to get on their feet. There are some unlucky new players that actually get stranded in space and also out of fuel. So if they ever end up in the middle of nowhere out of fuel, they really only have two options. Either self-destruct and respawn at a closest station, or contact the fuel rats. I have joined a almost like a community service of Elite Dangerous of a group called the Fuel Rats. The Fuel Rats, their job is to go out there and assist anybody that is in need of fuel. They do this completely for free and whatever they do whatever it takes to assist anybody that is in need of help. I have personally done a few assists for some people, but and I have recorded them too, but I'll be honest, watching a rescue without commentary, it's not that interesting really. Especially without much editing, which I can't really do right now. But that doesn't mean being a furret is boring. It's great because you get to talk to so many people and talk about their experience with Elite Dangerous so far, and you get to teach them so many things about the game. I, I love this because for a person that's not that social, it's, I, I try to force myself to go out and talk to them, and this is almost kind of a way of doing it. Kind of. It's, not exactly a direct way of talking to somebody, but still talking to someone. It's over the internet. Close enough. Yep. But since the footage of a rescue isn't really that interesting, I thought I'd just put up bounty hunting. That's always fun. Now, if any of this of Elite Dangerous seems interesting to you, you can go ahead and buy it on PC or Xbox. Very fun game, but for new players, as I said, very tough. You might need a friend to help you out in the beginning, but if you ever get in the game and you ever end up needing help, you can always contact the few rats. You'll always be there to help. Now since I don't really do much apart from video games, you'll probably see more videos like this from me, but if something end up 
interesting does actually happen. You could probably see a video about that. But until that happens, you'll see more videos of me playing video games and talking about what I've done recently. Hopefully you enjoy the content that we've been uploading, though there will definitely be more of it to come. We're just trying to make sure that we have constant uploads going on. If you are enjoying this type of content, go ahead and leave a comment down in the description below. And if you are enjoying it, expect more. And we'll see you next time until my next video. I am terrible at making outros. And I'm also surprised I... Actually, I'm just terrible at talking to myself in general. You know what? This entire outro has derailed. So... Yeah. I suppose I'm going to end it here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.